Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Mid Week War. We are here to talk some NXT. This is the go home to take over Brooklyn, baby. And it's going to be okay, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm Mad Mike. Hi, y'all know me, and I'll be in Brooklyn somewhere. If you see me, you can you can chop me. Just let me know it's coming. And with me, as always, is the one only Sorgatron. How are you, sir? Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Hello, Mr. Mad Mike. Uh, Sorg, NXT certainly was an NXT this week. It so it NXT'd so hard, I was pretty sure I watched an NXT. All right. Uh Sorg, I know you've been thinking long and hard about this. What is your one word for NXT? Antisocial. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, my one word this week is gnome. Gnome? Gnome. I think we're both talking about the same person. We might be. All right. All right. All right. Sorg, what is your good for NXT this week? I love Mr. Sullivan's issues um, finding a good friend to tag team with. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> because great. he was, like, really justified this week this time. So there's that. He's really justified every week. He is. To be honest, if you watch his tag matches, he's super justified every single week. But, uh, yeah, that that's kind of the segment I was talking about, too, because he, Commissioner Regal said Lars Sullivan is not allowed to beat someone up in the ring after if he loses his tag match. And Lars is like, okay, that's totally fine. He carried his partner out. Everyone's like, oh, maybe this will be okay. Nope, plants him outside like a fucking garden gnome and then beats the shit out. <laughs> Why do they have a lawn? Why well, do they have a lawn? It's, it's... Is it because Florida? Because Florida? I mean, it's the backstage and it's like just in between buildings on campus, you know? Yeah, but it's like a, it's like a little lawn. Like, yeah. I half expect to see a charcoal grill there. It's like a student, it's like a student hangout area. Yeah, I guess Remember, that's you're on a campus. I this is like part of that. a giant thing. I know it's not an arena or something, right? It's like, like no, no. You're on full sale campus. So. It's like those times in Impact where you randomly remember, oh yeah, this is right near the Dudley Do Right ride. Can I, can I, can I slightly mark out that I had somebody here in the studio yesterday that graduated from Full Sail? I mean, you can. I, I might judge you for it, but you sure. You're going to judge me for that? I mean, I, I think I'm they, they have I'm a kidding. great I'm product kidding. of people, and, uh, and it was a go-getter uh, fellow, and uh, I'm never getting an intern from Full Sail because they're did, too good did, for did me. You, did you work – did he work on NXT? Um, I did not – no, I don't, I, he's been out long enough that I don't think he would have. So okay. I read that question will come up the next time he's on. So okay, then. He might be listening. All right. Um, Hi. Well, uh, my good this week, we got to see the iconic duo back. Mm -hmm. I was so we happy got for to see Bobby. Billy and Peyton. I was so happy for Bobby. Like I saw him, I'm like, ah, oh, good for Bobby. He's gonna have a good week. Yeah, I, I miss seeing them. And I'm talking so it, for those fun. you know, initially. I'm talking about our friend Bobby F J Town, who is a huge fan of Billy Kay. Yes, and I don't know. All right, Sorg, you, you're more of a fashionista than I am. I am. I, do you sure. see? Is this okay? I'm not even sure, sure. if my shorts match. Okay. Uh, I, I, it, it's it's more or less an aside. Do you know what Billy Kay's robe is made of? I don't because know, but I'm, I want to touch it. I'm pretty sure it's the same shit that was in the veil in the Ministry of Magic where Sirius Black got thrown through it. I'm pretty sure it's the same wow. shit. That's a deep, deep cut cuts. reference. Deep I cuts. apologize. Deep cuts. But it looks like if that veil was hung over an opening and you walked through it, it would lead to your imminent death. That's deep cuss, but, but if, you, if be, you understand what he's talking about, you're having a really good time right now. Yeah, and, and if you don't, fucking read. Read. Get off of Twitter. Get off of Facebook. Stop watching the news. Somebody, read Harry, somebody, read somebody Harry else. Potter somebody, and the Order of the Phoenix. Somebody else I just met with admitted that they have not been able to watch a full Harry Potter movie through. Then read the books. Who okay, reads again, anymore? This is like 2017. He, 
Daniel Radcliffe is a specky little git. Okay, I get it. Hermione's supposed to be ugly, but she's adorable. Yeah, I gotcha. Read the books. Or at the very least, get the audiobooks because Jim Dale's voice is delightful. Yep. Anyway, moving the fuck on. Sorg, what was, what was your bad this week for NXT? Uh, you know, I, I watched a good friend of the show, Dave Lagana, had uh, the documentary for Drew, Drew, Drew McIntyre, Drew Galloway, um, and of Independence. McAway. Ma- you can just call him McAway. Drew McAway. <laughs> and, and it was so good. And I like Drew. Seriously, I don't want to throw him under the bus. I like Drew McIntyre as a wrestler, generally. But it was just a lot of... I just can't get invested in this. And it's not happening. And I was hoping the Roddy match would do something. And it's just a vacuum. Um, so I I just can't. I, it needs something else. And I don't know what that is. I think I know what that is, baby. Um, uh, so any. <laughs> IWC Adam Cole Bebe is available for DVD pre-order currently on IndieWrestling.us. That's the second plug we've gotten for that this week, Sorg. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, my bad also has to go with that main event. Um, Because, all right, so, Sorg, I'm watching this, and I'm like, okay, th- this match is fine, but both guys are faces. The crowd doesn't really know who to cheer for. And I'm like, okay, Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode! There he is, Bobby Roode! And I'm like, okay. Then I tap my screen. I take a look at the timestamp. I'm like, oh, we still have five minutes to go! Guess William Regal's going to come out and say, Mr. Rude, I have informed you not to get involved in this match, thus it will be a triple threat at TakeOver Brooklyn. That's what I was expecting. That's kind of the deal. But, but none of it happened. But nothing. Nothing Sorg, for Mad Mike. Sorg, did you hear the wording that they completely changed from last week? Hmm. Last week... They implied very heavily that if Roderick Strong was able to beat Drew Galloway, it would be Roderick Strong in the main event of TakeOver. No. They, no, 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 They said. No, 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 no. Bobby Roode said he would put the title on the line. They heavily implied it, at least to me. I thought, no, the implication. Was going to be for, the implication I got was. If he if Roddy won this match this week against Drew, he would get a match after Drew, not at Takeover, but just next. No, that that was not how they sold. Then it. That's I'm not. How they then said I'm not it. reading. That's how they said it this week. I'm pretty. That's sure how, they I'm said it this week. No. All right, no. all right. Well, then, well, I will agree to disagree because we're all yeah. working off our memory box here. Yeah, but like. And then they said this week that it was just for a match against Bobby Roode, which, why? Mm -hmm. Like, if that was the case, just give him the match this week. It should have been for the title. should have been for the title. Well, no, not even for the title. If if Roddy Strong didn't even want the match for the title, he just wanted to fight Bobby Roode. Okay, put him in the ring of Bobby Roode before TakeOver. Okay. And give Drew Drew a match, too. But, like, uh, I... I, I don't know, Sorg. It's just... I like everything about this NXT except the main event. Yep, yep. Sorry about that. I think uh, the mic was left on for somebody who fell asleep on the couch. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, no. Uh-oh. She's awake. She's awake. Okay. She's, She's awake. Alive. She's flipping me off. She's awake. Uh, <laughs> um, so, Sorg, what will be your change for NXT this week? Uh, the main event. This <laughs> 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 is the main event in general. Just You know... All right, you know what my change is, Sorg. Hmm. Hastily written subtitles under what Oscar was saying to Ember Moon. Yo, yes. Oh, yes. But like, can I, I at least have an idea? Can somebody slip Nigel McGinnis a note of what she said? Can someone buy Percy, Percy Watson a Rosetta Stone? I and, and mean, just, you know, just yelling, Warrior Row, Warrior Words of Asuka. She, like, she could have just been telling her her Xbox username. We don't know. Because, honestly, it was terrifying. It was I terrifying. Still, I want to know what the hell she said. Yes, absolutely. And what? She wants to buy a vowel? 
Okay. Actually, I don't know. She's got five letters in her name. Three of them are vowels. I don't think she needs any more vowels. No, absolutely not. So she wants to find a different vowel, she says. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's what we need after this NXT, a good vowel movement. Sorg, where do you rank NXT this week? Jeez, I ranked that joke at number five. Uh, ah! NXT... Yo, you, should, you should rank it at number two. Mm. Boom! We are going to rank this at a solid number three. Okay. All right. Because um, it just, uh, I mean, there were too many holes in it, but there's a lot of great stuff. I, can I talk about, okay, we, we, we need to talk about some, because there's a couple of things that we missed that I liked. Okay. And, and I think All we right. glossed over. So I want to know where this landed for you. Um, I, I also put it at number three. Um, I'm, ho- I mean, uh, I'm hopeful takeover is better than what we've been getting on NXT lately, but there, there's never been a takeover where it's really disappointed me. So I think we'll be all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It, it would be a fine show. This uh, didn't do well to service as a go home. No, show. it didn't. No, it didn't. Then again, SummerSlam was looking very, very strong. Um, street profits. Uh huh. Sold. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll I'll give. I'll say this. Um, the one that's not Angelo Dawkins, who I'm blanking on his name right Is now. Is that the one that ran through the crowd? Yes. So for those the uninitiated, I'm sold on him. So Angelo so, Dawkins is right, still stirring right. that pot. But but if he can kind of kind of like how Chad Gable brought up uh, uh, Jason Jordan, so you know future son of Kurt Angle here in the making. Um, but when when Sullivan's partner rushed in, got knocked out, and they both like flipped out, and the one like ran through the crowd, if they can stay keep the entertainment level on that level, I'm sold on the Street Profits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I just. I don't know. It's just Angelo Dawkins. You, you got. You got to give me something. You got to give me something, brother. You got to give me something on that. I. I don't. I'm not quite there yet. And if the Street Profits show up at NXT, I'm like uh, the NXT before slash after Takeover. I'm really. Cons- I'm really curious as to what kind of reaction they're going to get. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think I'm starting to see the potential in that team though. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, you say I love the uh, Ember. I think Ember's coming coming along well. Um, I know I was following uh, ju- a friend of the show, Justin Labar's um, tw- live tweet at the conference call uh, with Triple H, and he's over the moon. Oh, that's a bad pun. Over Ember Moon. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, it's like my subconscious knew. Um, but uh, so so I'm looking forward to that, and I think uh, I'm looking forward to see what what happens with that. Uh, Ruby Riot, just happy to see her her on my TV in general. Uh, so no, I mean it was a good show, mostly, um, and it just the main event just kind of drug it down for me. So okay, all right. And um, by the way, uh, Brandon is live in the chat room telling us things about Impact. Um, Brandon, I, I'm John Morrison debuting still does not make me want to watch Impact. I'm curious to see what they do with them and if they get the rights to welcome the Slam Town. But other than that. Nope. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read what they do to him and then just shake my head at the TV. Because I guarantee I know what it's going to be, Sorg. I know what it's going to be. I'm telling it's you right go now. go read it. He's going to look at his TV, visualize it on his Sorg. screen, and shake Sorg. his head. The TV's he's off gonna, the whole time. He's going to win the Impact World title in his first week because they bet their money on the wrong person from mm-hmm. the Underground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Should have been Drago. Yes. Yes, it should have. Welcome to Drag Town. Um, <laughs> Sorg, where can the good people on the air and I find you? Start the your breadcrumbs over at SorgatronMedia.com and follow the yellow brick road to WrestlingMayhemShow.com. All right. And by the way, if you meet a tin man on the side of the road, that is just Doc Remedy in cosplay. Um, Nobody remembers who that is. Exactly. That's why he's the tin oh, man. I miss you, Remedy. <laughs> you can find me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM. And of course, if you are going to be in the Greater Brooklyn area for Takeover Three, oh Sorg, we need to do predictions. Oh no! I oh. think that Bobby Roode has to keep this belt for my sanity. All right. 
Okay, Sorg, let's run them down real quick, but, and then we'll sign off. Johnny Gargano versus Andrade Cien. Who the fuck cares? Gargano. Me too. Unless there's cheating, which there might be. Uh, but uh, yeah, Johnny Gargano has to win. Alistair Black, the undefeated Alistair Black, versus Hideo Itami. Um, I think the winner is Kick Pad Salesman. Okay. Um, maybe an actual winner, Sorg? Black. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm also I'm gonna say Alistair Black, but I'm gonna say Hideo attacks him after the match. Hideo doesn't get a break. No, definitely not. All right, Sorg, three title matches. The authors of pain versus sanity. Who you got? I'm going authors. Okay. All right. Asuka versus Ember Moon. I'm going to go. you got, Sorg? Ember gets this one. Okay. This is when it ends. The Empress falls. All right. All right. And Sorg, Rude versus Drew McIntyre. Who you got? Glorious Rude. All right. And I skipped myself because I'm predicting all three titles change wow bold predictions i'm predicting it because quite frankly it needs to fucking happen Mm -hmm. i'm predicting all three titles change hands okay all three of them okay and i'm still not ruling out that maybe on the pre-show william regal adds roderick strong to the main event i can see that or maybe they have some kind of backstage that leads to it yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not ruling that out at all. Or Roddy costs Bobby Roode the belt, which might make me interested in Roderick Strong. Mm-hmm. I have not decided yet. <laughs> we'll see when it I comes to pass. The one thing I hope we do not get out of this is Drew McIntyre versus Adam Cole, Oof. because that will be difficult to look at because they look exactly the same. Just what's taller? Are they? Oh yeah, oh Adam Drew, Cole's pretty tall. Drew's a lot taller. Okay. Yeah. I, all right. I still don't. Drew's a lot better at Drew. being tall. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right, uh, Sorg. If, uh, if you can make one prediction for the for next week's NXT, that will be taped before Takeover. What is that? Well, don't you want a wild prediction for um for Takeover? Yeah, sure. Wild prediction. Sure. Uh, Adam Cole will actually come out and get involved with the Johnny Gargano match. Ooh, okay. Um, my bold prediction is that Tommaso Ciampa returns. Mm, that was my that's original. My bold. That was my original that's bold. My, I think I called that bold. like two weeks ago. <laughs> Either. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? Screw that. My bold prediction, Emma returns to NXT. No. No. Hashtag give Emma a chance. On the pre-tapes for next week? Yes. Hashtag give Emma a chance. There you go. I want Emma with the iconic duo so bad I can taste it. They they seem like carrots and peas to me. (laughs) All right. So... I'll finish my outro. You can catch me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things. And also, if you see me in Brooklyn, please feel free to come, say hi, take a selfie, chop me if you want, whatever you want to do. I'm pretty much game for anything. And until next time, we will catch you on the Facebook Live talking about NXT on the Mid Week War.